new series. Okay, let's try and work on some flicks. In this series, we will be covering every flick in the game with a tutorial for each flick, including a delayed version if there is one. To make it usable for all players, we will be using every hitbox to make the flick so you can see the small changes dependent on the hitbox. And today we're going to start with the most basic flick in the game, the front flick. But before we talk about flicks, I think it's important to talk about the ability to carry the ball. Carrying the ball is something you can pick up in free play just by repeated practice and depending on the individual will depend on the amount of time it takes to get comfortable with it the basics of dribbling are to turn in the opposite way you want to go and the reason for this is the ball will move to the other side of the car and start to drop off which allows you to then turn into the direction to maintain ball control and over time you will learn how much you need to turn depending on varying speeds and speaking of speeds if the ball is going forward you may need more speed and if it's coming off the back you may need less speed but this series is more on flicks, so I'm not going to give you much of a tutorial on carrying the ball because it can be picked up with a bit of practice, like I say. But as always, time for me to say something a little bit controversial. You do not need to be good at dribbling, or what I would personally consider good, to be able to flick the ball. You don't need to be able to do carry maps. In my opinion, they are time wasted. They could be utilized in other areas. All you need to really be able to do is to dribble the length of the map comfortably and to turn where you want. That's all you need. What is more important than dribbling is actually the ground transitions. If you could spend one hour working on a dribble workshop map or just catching a fast ball, I personally think it would be much more beneficial to work on catching the ball and getting an insane first touch by learning and understanding how to drift on the ground, which you will not develop dribbling the ball as it's already on your car. Additionally, in a lot of these maps, there are angled services that aren't even in the game, so they have little to no carryover. Now, there are also many different ways to carry the ball. Some people like to have the ball sit more on the mid, which allows you to pop into air dribbles, but other people prefer to have the ball front-loaded, including myself. And here's why I prefer that. If you have space, if you know where your opponent is, then yes, it's fine to have the ball on the center. But if you don't and you get challenged, it's over. You have literally nothing behind the ball. You also cannot flick from this position if you are in danger. So if it, all of a sudden you do get challenged, there's not anything you can do apart from jump, which isn't always great. Now with a front loaded ball, if you are challenged due to the slight slope of the car, it can either prevent the ball going through you or can create a ramp that could clear the net. Additionally, with a front-loaded ball, if the opponent turns, you are ready to make a flick at a moment's notice. Or if you slam the brakes on, the ball will roll off your car for a low 50. It just feels safer and allows more options, including a drop into a bounce dribble. Again, this is just my opinion, but I've provided some justification of my thought process. But again, we are all different. If you feel the other way is better, that's also fine, as we have many flicks for each position. Right, let's get to the front flick. Our goal in the front flick is to have the ball in the area between the nose of the car and the middle. If we put the ball too far back do the front flip flick, we won't get the second touch as it tends to pop the ball higher. And if we have it too far forward, it'll just hit the ground when we jump and we won't be able to get the flick off. So you do need it in that sort of front to mid position. The further back in that position, the more height you will get. and the nearer to the front, the more power you will get with less height. But this is also speed dependent. The faster you travel, the more forward momentum you will have going through the ball. And the slower you go, the more the ball tends to pop. But there's so many factors into this, this is a bit of a feeling process. And generally, when you are flicking, you don't want to be going too fast anyway. The faster you go, the harder it is to control. And at supersonic, it's very hard to get a flick because you're just traveling so fast that you can't actually hit the ball any harder because it's already moving at such a speed. So with flicks, you want to think smooth, not fast, smooth and smooth will make it fast so let's talk about ranks of learning and the mileage this flick i would recommend picking up as soon as possible if you don't have it by gold you need to learn it it shouldn't take too long to pick up and the mileage you get out of this one is incredible people use this flick all the time at sub 100 depending on the player as it's great to beat a player who is turning or to flick it high when they're shadowing to get some proactive offense going so let's look at the different hitboxes 
First, we're going to look at the Merc hitbox, the highest hitbox in the game. With the Merc, you're aiming actually to get the ball balancing right on the front edge of the car. And this should allow you to hit very nice front flip flicks. And usually you do actually have the element of surprise when you're using the Merc, as people just don't expect you to flick the ball. So what we do is we put it on the front corner of the car, we match the ball speed, and then we do a standard front flick. We're not delaying it or any of that, just a front flip. Okay, the Octane hitbox, the most popular in the game. This one's actually pretty easy because all you got to do is get the ball wedged into the windscreen. And with front flick flicks, generally you want to have it down that center line of the car, right in the middle. And that's it. Put it on the windscreen, match the speed, and flick. The great thing about it getting wedged into that position, as it does for some reason, it does that with this hitbox, is it allows you to speed up into the board and it'll keep it stuck there so you can get some nice, powerful flicks. Personally, what I like to do is if I have a little bit of boost, I like to put the ball further forward. And then right as I'm about to jump, I will put my boost on to just get a little bit extra speed in my car to catch up with the ball. So then when I flick, it tends to give more power in the last second. Okay, let's move on to the hybrid hitbox. Slightly longer, yet not as high. And so with this, you will actually need to put the ball a touch further back than the previous hitboxes to prevent the tower coming over the top and actually hitting the ball into the ground. So for this, you actually want it to just, just be off center. The Dominus, another popular car with the Octane. The Dominus is great car for strong flicks, as it is slightly more length than the hybrid and is lower. So the rotation onto the ball is greater, which means that the flicks can be stronger. Funnily, due to the shape of this car, you actually need the ball fairly forward on the windscreen, similar to the Octane. The reason for this is, if it's slightly too far back, it will fling over the crossbar, which is great if you want a full map flick. So again, it's something you can work on, but if you're closest to the net, if you have it slightly too far back, you're going to hit the crossbar. Okay, the breakout, the longest car type in the game and the second lowest. So as you can imagine, this gives you a bigger area of leeway to hit the flick. And if you get the sweet spot, <laughs> the flicks in this are insane. However, be warned, with great power does come great responsibility. Generally, you want it further forward than the previous hitboxes, aside from the Merc, as overfiring is very common. And once you've got it there, you can do your flick. Now, as you get better at flicking, you don't have to match the ball speed or any of this. You can literally just put the ball on. You can't flick it straight away once you're in the right spot. Finally, the Plank, the second longest car with the lowest hitbox. Some players find it slightly harder to dribble with low cars, but easier to initiate the dribble as it rolls onto the car easier than other hitboxes, like the Merc or the Octane. We're going to use the Batmobile for this, which is now a plank hitbox and not its own unique one anymore, unfortunately. And with this one, we are looking again to put it a tad bit in front of the windscreen, similar to the Dominus, as with these last three hitboxes, overfiring is very, very common. But let's talk about the delayed versions. So with most flicks, you have a delayed version. And the front flip is no different. Delayed versions are great because they can put defenders off guard and you can manipulate the area of the flick as you have the ability to move your car's location under the ball or to begin a forward lean on your car so it pushes the ball more. So a good thing to do in free play is to practice the basic front flip with the hitbox you enjoy and work on using different car locations and different speeds to get the understanding of how it feels. Then work on adding in some delays, maybe a bit of boost under the ball or a slight forward lean first or maybe just nothing changed, but just doing it later. And there it is, starting off with the easiest flick, a little bit on dribbling. Again, I know it's a bit controversial. I know a lot of people won't agree with it, but it makes sense to me. And we are going in order of easiest to hardest. So first one hopefully has helped some people start it out with flicks. But if not, don't worry, as we have some more complex moves coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and the support. I really do appreciate it. Have a nice life. Look after yourself and peace out. Peace.